For 10,000 years, the Imperium of Man has endured under the rule of the Immortal Emperor. The worlds of man are scattered across the galaxy, threatened by savage aliens, heretics who defy the Emperor's will, and horrors lurking upon forgotten worlds. It is a time of endless war, selfless heroism, and blackest infamy. I see fortresses in the stars. A circle of six, but they sleep yet and must be awakened. Ride upon the storms of chaos. Gather your rivals around you. End discord and terror throughout a thousand worlds. Abaddon the Despoiler, War Master of Chaos. You speak in meaningless riddles. What are the fortresses in the stars? Answer me or die now! Stop this foolishness. I have consorted with creatures far more powerful than you. Speak, Crone, but I will remember your insolence. <laughs> Seek the hand of darkness. Take the eye of night. With these, the citadels will be yours to command. A chorus of a billion throats will cry your name in fear and hatred. The stars themselves will run red with blood. If you have the courage for it, war master. If what you say is true, Captain Spire, a vast chaos fleet is massing for attack. Inquisitor Horst, are you sure of this man? Maybe we should consider someone else. Isn't this captain from a planet that rebelled against the Emperor's will? Enough! His faith will be tested thoroughly. For he is the salvation of mankind. Obey his, his words, for he will lead you to the light of the future. Honor his servants, for they speak his voice. Tremble before his majesty, for we all walk in his immortal shadow. Let us begin. to be certain. The enemy we face is no ordinary foe. I understand. You are to be promoted to the rank of Admiral and given command of the fleet. I will not fail you, Inquisitor. There is much to do and little time, Admiral Spire. I fear a storm coming to the Gothic sector. One we are not yet prepared to face. Yeah. 
The orcs plague the whole galaxy from end to end, with their ceaseless warring and strife. They are a warlike, crude, and highly aggressive green-skinned Xenos race, organized in a primitive and brutal society, rooted so deeply in war that peace is utterly incomprehensible to them. Their ships are often ill-kempt, unreliable rust buckets, kept in operation only by the constant effort of orc mech boys and their Gretchen slaves. Orc pirate attacks are brutally direct, with their ships rushing headlong towards their target, guns firing wildly as they come. They cannot be bargained with or bought, save with weapons that they will inevitably turn against those who try to bribe them. Orcs have a need for speed. Their ships commonly mount a plethora of thrusters, boosters and extra drives, usually all wired up to a prominent red button in the cockpit. experience have I learned that underestimating the greenskins is a fast route to the grave. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. Lord Admiral Ravensburg believes that we can learn something of our enemy's strategy by infiltrating a Chaos Command ship recently identified by Inquisitor Horst's agents. I am to find this ship, board it, and bring back any clues I can find about the invaders' plans. Now is my chance to ensure their faith in me was not misplaced. The Eldar are an ancient and arrogant alien race. Their ships appear fragile, but are highly maneuverable and equipped with powerful, sophisticated weaponry. Their vessels are protected by hollow fields that distort our augur readings, making them very difficult to hit. In addition, the Eldar Corsairs have captains and crews who are quite skilled at void combat. Eldar Corsairs prefer hit-and-run attacks. To counter this, use strength in numbers and compact defense. The Inquisitor suspects that the Corsairs are connected to an Eldar craft world lurking within the Graildark Nebula. Once you engage the Eldar, report any information you can gather on the craft world and the Corsairs. The purpose of this relic may yet still be a mystery, but it is now secured and protected by sworn guardians of the Inquisition. The Emperor is with us, but we must remain watchful, for Abaddon's thirst for revenge will never be slaked. The relic is lost. The despoiler has claimed it in his talent grasp. I do not know what unholy purpose Abaddon has for the Hand of Darkness. But we can be assured that we now face an even greater challenge from the Chaos Fleets. We must regroup. We must gird ourselves in our hatred of the enemy and trust in the Emperor that he will not forsake the Gothic Sector in our darkest hour. And we cannot, must not, fail again. There are some amongst my Ordos who believe that to fight chaos, one must understand it. Whatever secrets the Eye of Night holds, they are a danger to one's very soul. 
a moral threat of corruption, of darkness, of heresy. The mighty Imperial Navy has kept this relic out of Abaddon's hands. And in that victory, I see the salvation of the Sector and of myself. The Eye of Night has fallen into the clutches of Abaddon the Despoiler. The relic and all its dark secrets belong to the enemy. And with that, I feel the Gothic Sector tremble. I fear that Abaddon's victory here seals defeat for the Imperial Navy. The Emperor protects. Yes, Inquisitor. Gather every vessel you can and travel to Orm's world at once. You must stop Abaddon, whatever the cost. He is searching for an ancient artifact known as the Eye of Night. Do not let the Despoiler claim this relic, Admiral. May the Emperor guide your guns, and may the heretics feel his wrath! The only thing that the Imperial ship crews fear even more than traveling in the warp is traveling in the warp while there is a storm raging. The light of the Emperor's Astronomicon can no longer guide the navigators, and entire sectors can be isolated, preventing any help from afar. The chaos, at home in the distortion of reality, becomes an even greater threat. And even the most experienced navigators can only hope for a safe arrival at their destination. O oh, eternal God Emperor, preserve us from the dangers of the void. Inquisitor, with all respect, is Exterminatus the only solution? Admiral Spire, it is said that heresy is like a tree. Its roots lie in darkness, while its leaves wave in the sun. You can prune away its branches, even cut the tree to the ground, but it will grow again ever stronger. Such is the nature of heresy, and why it is so difficult to destroy. Some may question my right to destroy a world of ten billion souls, but those who truly understand realize that I have no right to let them live. No sacrifice is too great, no treachery too small.
murdered in one dreadful hour. The name of Abaddon's ship, the Planet Killer, will haunt us for eternity. The Lance of Lukata is ready to fire, Admiral. Acknowledged. Fire at will. It was an honor to serve the Imperium and the Emperor of Mankind. The Eldar warp gate is breaking down. The mission is a success! A victory won at great cost, Admiral Spire. The Lance of Lukitar is no more. The Imperial Navy exists to combat threats to the Imperium of Man. The Emperor watches over the souls of those brave captains who die in his service. Now, you will witness the true power of the Immaterium. Fire the Armageddon gun. No! Curse you, Abaddon! All ships, Eldar and Imperial, disengage at once! So many warriors died this day, for nothing. It is not meaningless to die while fighting the arch enemy. I hope that you are right, human. My ships will follow your fleet to the rendezvous point. It is a sign of the dire threat facing the Gothic Sector that the Imperial Navy would even consider an alliance with any alien. The Eldar are an arrogant and deceitful race, but it seems they are willing to assist us. We may yet be able to save the Sector, but I dare not inquire why the Eldar have proposed this alliance. It is said that for any question asked of the Eldar, they return three answers, all of which are terrifying to comprehend. It is a sign of the dire threat facing the Gothic Sector, that the Imperial Navy would even consider an alliance with any alien. The Eldar are an arrogant and deceitful race, but it seems they are willing to assist us. We may yet be able to save the Sector, but I dare not inquire why the Eldar have proposed this alliance. It is said that for any question asked of the Eldar, they return three answers, all of which are terrifying to comprehend. The Eldar's arrogance knows no bounds, but we have repaid them for their insults in blood. No longer will the Eldar Corsairs attack our convoys or raid our systems. These aliens dare to try and manipulate us into their schemes. But we of the Imperial Navy are no one's puppet. With the Eldar threat destroyed, we can now focus our efforts on our deadliest enemy, Abaddon, the Despoiler. The Orc Horde is a beast. Destroy the head. The body dies. Without their war boss, the orc ships become easy prey. One by one, we hunted them down, dispensing the Emperor's implacable wrath upon their Xenos vessels. Our attack scattered their ships, and the once fearsome green tide was silenced. Justify interrupting me, Wigandus. Lord Admiral, the light of the Astronomicon shines once more. 
Reinforcements have been dispatched to the Gothic Sector. The Warp Stone... It is gone. Tremble before the majesty of the Emperor, for we all walk in his immortal shadow. My ship is closest to the Blackstone Fortresses. All power to the Void Shields! I will attempt to put an end to this madness! By my faith, may the light of the Emperor spread to the farthest star. By my duty, the galaxy will belong to the Righteous. By my action, the Imperial Navy shall be honored and remembered upon holy terror! For the Emperor of Mankind, and for the Battle Fleet Gothic! All ships, cancel the retreat order. The heroic sacrifice of Captain Abridol and the Flame of Purity have shut down the Blackstone Fortresses. All remaining vessels, we have to board them and take control! Forces at Schindelgeist boarded the isolated Blackstone Fortress in an attempt to recapture it. Within, there was no sign of any crew. The walls pulsed with energy, and every surface had become a deep-veined black, like the void of space. Suddenly,